Welcome back, everyone. I'm Kendi Rue here drilling down on all things pop culture, from black love being celebrated on Love is Blind to the big dance in the desert as Coachella wraps up this weekend. But it kicked off with a big bang. Diddy hit the desert making his way to the Coachella Music Festival just outside of Palm Springs, California, and he brought the love to the stage, joining the weekend. Diddy documented his Coachella journey and the Diddy spirits were, of course, in the house. From Ciroc to Deleon, he came to play, landing just outside of Palm Springs with his R&B protege, Jazzy. I know Puffs for kids. Yeah. I be at his house, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When he, like, like, that's what you get. Like, mm -hmm. I, it's like a family, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A guy on the move helping to bring Memphis representation to the party. Not only was Jazzy on the scene, but Memphis's own Glorilla hit the stage for her set with Moneybag Yo. And Coachella is finally getting back to where it was pre-pandemic. Last year, there was an estimated 750,000 people who attended the festival. Organizers are expecting to top that. From Frank Ocean on down, this year marks the first time that the festival was headlined entirely by non-white artists. That's a huge first. In 2008, Prince was the first black headliner of the festival and Jay-Z followed in 2010. Fast forward to 2018 when the face of Coachella as we know it changed forever. Beyonce became the first black woman to headline the event and gave such an epic performance that they renamed it Beachella. Now to the Love is Blind phenomenon on Netflix. Netflix, how dare you play with me right now? I was waiting for the Love is Blind reunion. I don't know what y'all got to do, but y'all better fix it and we better not miss nothing. Folks absolutely lost their mind because the live reunion failed to stream. The bill is paid, so that means I should be able to click on this and watch Love is Blind live like I wanted to do. Netflix has since corrected the situation as the reunion special is now streaming. I have doubts about being my age and not finding a person. Not a lot of guys that look like us talk about stuff like this. Of course, the culture was keeping up with Tiffany and Brett, who made it Netflix official, therefore restoring the world's shaken faith in reality dating shows, which never seemed to get it right with black couples, especially women. Are you kidding me? After four seasons of Love is Blind, the network made sure that Tiffany and Brett hit different. Theirs is a Sunday kind of love, two 30-something professionals who agreed to do something totally bonkers, not in the hopes of becoming internet famous, but to find a partner they could build a life with. I just want to let you know, Tiffany, that I do love you. Oh my God, you're getting married. It worked. And can we just say, it's about damn time we finally see a black couple that represents black love. Mr. and Mrs. Brett and Tiffany Brown. We round things out with our well wishes for Jamie Foxx, who's on the mend and continuing to recover from an undisclosed medical complication while he was filming his latest movie, Back in Action, here in Atlanta. Fans first learned of Jamie's condition after his daughter and Beat Shazam co-host Corinne posted this message to her Instagram account, revealing that he suffered a medical complication. It has been reported that the Oscar winner suffered a stroke, but there's been no confirmation. Fans and friends are turning to social media with an outpouring of love and support. One post did stand out to me from Kerry Washington, who took to Instagram to send Jamie love and prayers to honor her movie husband. Washington played Jamie's on-screen wife in Ray in 2004 and Django Unchained in 2012. And we do send Jamie and his family our thoughts and prayers. 